All right, go produce. Welcome back for the Reflection Series. My name is Big Lou, and I'm super, super happy to be introducing a new kind of twist that we're going to be introducing to you over the next eight weeks, beginning this week. So before we jump further in, I want to share with you what the outline is going to look like for this episode and for the remainder of the Reflection Series. Let's do that right now. So I'll be talking to you a little bit about the Reflection series, what that's going to look like. Then I'm going to be joining, jumping into who I am, why I did this, a little bit of my history. I want to talk to you a bit about why we did go produce in the first place, why even start it, give a little background of where we are, the location that we're in, the people that we have on the team. I want to also share with you what is part of our master plan. The master plan is so important because this will get you all on board as to what we're doing because we need your help. And after the master plan, what we're going to be doing is talking briefly about the upcoming episodes so that we can almost anticipate them and we can start a conversation around them. If at any point in time you ever have a question, please feel free to shoot me a message at go.produce on Instagram. That's at go.produce. You can also shoot me an email personally at louis at goproduce.ca. Yes, that's where you can hit me up. Alrighty, without further ado, I do appreciate your time. So let's go ahead and make the most of this and go, 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 go produce. All right. This is Go Produce, turning that passion to profit. This is for those of you who think you got it and want it. Music industry professionals, I'm talking to you. This is the Go Produce podcast, and my name is Big Lou. Whoop. Okay, Go Producers, without further ado, I do want to cover the, the next topics. I won't jump into too many details, but what we did do is we went through all of the episodes that we had in our first three seasons. That's over 32 episodes not over 32 episodes, that is actually 32 episodes with music industry professionals from across the industry. We've got artists, managers, agents, festival goers, presidents. We're trying to cover the whole industry and we have a lot more to do, but we are on our way. And this is what we're going to be delivering to you. And what we're going to be doing is taking a couple of their highlighted lessons and I'm going to dive into them a little bit further. We're going to, we're going to tear them down and really flesh them apart so that we can really take away what we need to. And it's going to be highly engaging. It's going to be highly interactive because we're going to see them. We're going to bring back their clips and we're going to have some fun with it. With the intro to the reflection series out of the way, let me share a little bit about who I am. Who is Big Lou? Louis Engel. Well, I was born and raised on St. Martin. That's a tiny, tiny island that is in the Caribbean. And a fun fact about that is that Other than I'd highly recommend going. That's not a fun fact. (laughs) The fun fact about it is that it's the sixth smallest landmass in the world, divided by two countries, half Dutch, half French. I was born on the Dutch side, and I would highly, highly recommend going there for a visit whenever you have the chance to. It is truly beautiful. I haven't been there in over a year now because of certain COVID reasons. However, I will get there soon enough. I believe it's in my heart. Um... Something else about my youth is that I used to be a science kid, fun fact, believe it or not. And I had a couple of experiences that then ultimately led me away from science. I still deeply appreciate science and I think it's super, super astonishing what kinds of discoveries they can come to. But I strayed away from that and I I led, I found myself leading more towards the motivational speaking path. And that then led to music, which was kind of an abrupt transition. However, I'm totally happy that I've done this. I have no desire to become a doctor or a marine biologist or any kind of scientific profession um, anymore. And this is essentially where I'm going to be. If you were to ask me three, four years ago, hey, Louis, are you a cre- do you consider yourself to be a creative individual? I would say hands down, right off the board, flat, no. Um, I didn't consider myself to be creative whatsoever. And a couple of events led to me making these life decisions that led to me wanting to explore the world of music. And here I am turning my creativity into an incredible learning experience. And now I can take this experience and I can share it with all of the other music industry professionals. Yes. And that's a very nice transition into why did I start Go Produce? So before I talk about Go Produce, I want to share with you who PMG is. PMG stands for Prevail Media Group. And this is the facility 
facility D, <laughs> the facility that you see us in currently. Um, we've got a studio here, but the media group part really is bigger than just audio. Yes, we've got the recording facility. We've got the booth in the back corner and it's super. That's where I'd be spitting my heart bars or where I'm working on it. You know, you know how it is. Uh, but I actually approached Prevail over a year ago. I just a random phone calls like, hey, I'm interested in doing a podcast and becoming a rapper, uh, but I don't really know how to do anything. How can I bring value to you so that you can help me achieve my goals? Right. That makes sense. Keep in mind, I had no experience in the music world, so I was I was super green. However, not the end of not 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 the end of the world, and I still was able to bring my energy and my enthusiasm and my curiosity, mold it together in some kind of vision experience uh, experiment, and Go Produce was born. The idea of a podcast was initially started because I wanted to interview entrepreneurs and other creative individuals from different walks of life to learn from their lessons ultimately because I realized that I had a lot of learning to do and I was then beginning to embrace the fact that I wanted to become a rapper around the same time so this is why I approached a music recording facility so that I can really embrace this lifestyle I had to jump in fully dive in I said fully like three times so We'll see how that sounds, but it's good. I, I realized that I needed to learn as much about the music industry to be as successful as I wanted to be. And in order to do that, I needed to learn as much as I could. And I needed to share that knowledge with as, with as many people as possible to grow my network. Um, I realized that you can't do it on your own. I don't want to do this on my own. This is one of the main reasons I came into art because of the collaboration that you can find in it. And in order for me to achieve my goals, I have to remain diligent with this. No lie. Sometimes I feel like the podcast does take a lot of energy away from my actual art history, but phases that music industry professionals will go through that kind of almost pull them away from their path. And that's just tests that the universe is throwing at them. And, and it's up to them. It's up to us to realize or figure out how to navigate around that. And all of these conversations that we're having are solely focused so that we can accomplish this. I want to accomplish this for myself because I'm an upcoming rapper um, from motivational speaking. I figured this is how I want to convey my messages. Let me learn how to do this as best as possible and let me bring as much value, not only to my immediate surroundings here at Prevail Media Group, but to the greater, the greater music community. So at Prevail Media Group, in order for me to actually put all of this together, I needed a lot of help. And the help that I received was from the studio manager, audio producers, video producers. We've got some administrative work, just different people coming together and bringing their strengths ultimately. Because if I was to do all of this by myself, it would have taken me a lot longer. That being said, if you're trying to do a project by yourself, don't stop because you're by yourself. But I do recommend trying to find other people, whether, whether you have a partnership or you pay them to do something. That's up to you. Uh, when I when I did come and approach Prevail at the beginning, I had no money and I had to essentially trade my time and my energy for, for their time and their energy. The podcast is bringing value to Prevail Media Group. However, I feel like I am greatly, greatly taking away lots of lessons from this whole experience because of how hands-on and upfront I've been with it. I feel like I'm benefiting the most out of this whole process here at Go Produce because of how intimately connected I have been with this project. My role specifically at Go Produce is to be the project manager and to be the show host. I uh, I need to be responsible for managing the video support, for the audio support, to try and actually learn the language so that I can communicate with them most effectively. I have to help coordinate the web and the graphic design, help launch our website. Um, granted, we've got different people here with the different skill sets that are able to do this, but we don't necessarily know what to do, what to do it. So it's been a very interesting process with the whole team because none of us have ever actually done anything like this before. But at the same time, that's what really makes it so exciting. All right, so we're familiar with who I am what the Reflection series is, why we started Go Produce, right? We want to figure out why music industry professionals or how music industry professionals turn their passion into profit because we are music industry professionals and we want to turn our passion into profit. 
actually, I won't speak for you. I'll speak on my behalf. This is what I'm doing. It's not what I'm trying to do anymore. And I want you to do this with me. I'm very early on it, but I say this almost every day. It's only the beginning. And I'll probably say it when it's near the end. It's still only the beginning. You've got to maintain that attitude. Let's go. I want to transition now into the master plan. What is our goal with Go Produce? Well, ultimately, figure out how music and industry professionals turn their passion into profit. Yes. But outside of that, what does Go Produce want to do? Go Produce is going to be the biggest music industry podcast in Canada by August 2022. We've already laid out our foundation. We've figured out our routine, how we want to outline our episodes, how we're going to streamline our editing processes, how we're going to figure out our socials, how we're going to promote ourselves. We're in the process of beginning our sales outreach. We're, we're putting together our more legitimized marketing plan. But all of this is happening because we've been able to lay out our foundation. And I'd say we're almost 400% more efficient. We have yet to see how that unfolds. And we recently hired a business manager to help us get to the next level on top of that. We recently submitted several applications to grants, and we are making our first real push towards securing sponsors for upcoming seasons and episodes. So if that tickles your fancy and you are at all interested in being one of those sponsors, hit us up. I'm on Instagram. I'm on my email. Hit me up there. Let me know what your interests are. We can have a fantastic conversation. We do plan on having, we have our next two seasons planned out already. So in 2021, you're going to be receiving season four. You're going to be receiving the rest of this reflection series, which includes eight episodes. Let me go ahead and tell you what topics these episodes are going to be as well. So this is the master plan intro essentially to the reflection series. Next up, we're going to have artists and musicians discussion. Then episode three is going to be agents and managers followed by events and festivals, followed by labels and public relations. Episode six, we're going to see producers and engineers. Episode seven, songwriters and composition. Episode eight, TV, uh, whoa, excuse me. Episode eight will be TV, radio, education, and apps, plus what's next. A little bit more on season four will come to light then, but we are super excited. This is like I mentioned earlier, something experimental for us. We want to try something new, something novel, keep ourselves on the on our toes. Please let us know what you think. I want to shout out all the parties involved. Big shout out to Prevail Media Group. Thank you so much for this beautiful venue. And shout out to our sponsors who are yet to come. I know you're right around the corner. If you are on Apple Podcasts, then please leave us a review. If on Spotify, then go ahead, hit that download button because we've got so much more in store for you on its way. Make sure to tell all of your music industry friends about the Go Produce podcast. If you want more information, find that at www.goproduce.ca. I would love to receive any and all feedback. Ooh, we out. <laughs>